For those of you whose first quirky product evaluation this is, please raise your hand right now. Newbies, there's a couple of ground rules. With all the beer and laughter, it looks a lot like a college improv show. But this weekly meeting in New York City is all business. Should Kevin Shea be a quirky event eraser? <laughs> Congratulations, Kevin. We like to say the best ideas in the world don't come from the boardroom, they come from the living room. Polarity sensing jumping cables. Yes. It's an unusual approach for a consumer products company that brought in $48 million in revenue last year. Unless, of course, that company is quirky. Good ideas should be out there because they're the best ideas not because they're the ideas of the people that somehow have the means to be able to do it. Quirky manages an international online community, some 900,000 strong, that submits, tweaks, and every Thursday night votes on all sorts of product ideas. And what they vote on gets made. The site gets up to 3,000 new ideas a week. We're all creative people, right? It's hard to get through a dinner without someone saying, oh, wouldn't it be cool if, or I've got an idea for, and Quirky really captures that and gives those people a chance for the first time literally ever. The quickest we've gone from a Thursday night to a retail store is about 29 days, and that was with Pluck. The company is the brainchild of Ben Kaufman, who started it five years ago at age 21. So you're drawing a switch? Yeah. The company started with a three-word mission statement to make invention accessible. What's usually inaccessible to most inventors are all the important steps after that aha moment. And that's where Quirky jumps in. With constant feedback from its vast online community, the Quirky team actually designs, markets, patents, and manufactures the invention. Most companies, R&D centers like this, are hidden behind locked doors or you need security clearance. Right. For us, you walk in and you can't miss it. Great job. If a product makes it to the retail shelves, 10% of the revenue is shared with the inventor and every member of the website who helped along the way. Whether it was voting on a color or even picking a name. Last year, Quirky's inventors and its online influencers shared $3.8 million. People that don't know a lot about it, the invention process often are like, well, that doesn't seem like a lot of money. Right. And I just say, you know, find a better deal. Not in a cocky way, but just a better and more cost-effective oh, yeah, way to bring your product to life. What are these little copper things? The company uh, currently has more than 100 products on sale in stores like Target and Best Buy. Take this one. I was a tad skeptical about this citrus sprayer called Stem. To me, it looked like... A lemon. I'm definitely going to say if I were in the crowd, I would say I love the idea, but it's ridiculous looking, and I can't imagine that it keeps working. Well, I've seen you spray it like 10 times. I just, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to believe. And then you just put you this still back. don't believe me? I believe okay. you. I'll just keep going. <laughs> I love you. From rubber bands with hooks to hot dog slicers, the ideas that get made into quirky products can seem a tad quirky but some are downright practical. As I'm driving along, I'm looking at these buildings and each of these uh, apartments seem to have an air conditioner sticking out of the window. And I started to wonder about how they manage that air conditioner. Garth and Leslie of Columbia, Maryland was struck by inspiration during his morning commute. And then I started thinking, wouldn't it be great if there was a way to actually control that and be able to turn it on just prior to my returning? The idea could have remained forever trapped in his notebook. But he submitted a proposal to Quirky, and within a few months, the company, in partnership with GE, unveiled this, a Wi-Fi-enabled AC unit that can be controlled via smartphone. The big thing for me is seeing that real live product that, that I could actually touch. And actually, I think when I did see it, I went up, I put my hands on it. That is fantastic. Just to get that feel of, there was an idea I had, and now it's a real live product sitting on this table. His air conditioner will be on sale by summer. Garthen's probably going to make, probably, he'll make, I don't know, close to a million dollars this year, close maybe $750,000. You know, this is one of those things ahead of time, we're going to hit this out of the park. And I've been wrong before. So whether you're a student, engineer, or stay-at-home mother of invention. Is this Crafties? Yeah, pot power. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Ben Kaufman and a very quirky community are banking on your next big idea. Good job, dude. Right on.